So tonight, one of the things I'm going to do is get my stereo installed in my piece of sh crap truck. It is a piece of crap, but it's a piece of crap on purpose. I bought it to uh, pull sailboats with. I'm the staff faculty advisor for the University of Illinois Sailing Club, and we only have so many spots out at the lake, and all the other boats stay on campus. So I wanted to tow stuff back and forth, so I bought this little beat-up truck, and it's supposed to be beat-up. Um, the stereo that was in it has stopped pushing sound to the right side. So that's sad because, you know, it's not fun to listen to a stereo on one side. That doesn't make it stereo, that makes it mono. And I work on a campus and a lot of people get mono and I heard it's something you don't want. So this guy had to come out. And he did. Now in my truck, this is the space. Sorry, I'm not a mirror image. This is the space that the stereo fits in. But as you know, current radios are not this big. They're about half this size. So I had to get the adapter. Wow! So this will allow the stereo to fit in the space. So my brother-in-law, who's pretty slick, they live in town here. My wife's sister uh, lives in town with her family. They all live here. It's not like just her. And um, she happens to be a physician on, in town, and Todd is lucky enough to stay home. He said, oh, you need a new stereo. I happen to have one that came out of my 84 Mustang. And I said, awesome, hook me up, yo. And so we did. Here's a Kenwood tape player. The only problem with this Kenwood tape player is that it was made with pre-outs for an amp. So it only sends like a very little signal. So I had this hooked up to the truck. As you can see, I had to get a harness to plug into the truck and wire it to the wires in the back of this, making a spaghetti mess. And um, so sound would come out, but it was very, very faint. So. Thank you, Todd, but this doesn't work, and he doesn't want it back. So if anybody wants a piece of crap radio that I've screwed up the wiring on, let me know. I'll, you know, let you pay for shipping. So on one of my message boards, uh, somebody was talking about his um, uh, car and how the window got broken, but they didn't steal anything. And one of the things they didn't steal was a stereo that he bought back in 2005 but never installed. And I said, well, how much do you want for that? And he said like 35 bucks. So he's already sent it to me and it has the receipt and everything. It is a uh, Sony Explode and it comes with its own wiring harness to plug in here. And the beauty of this is that all the wires on the back of it are the same color as all the wires on the other wiring harness that goes to the truck. So I just gotta go click, click, click with my little wiry connectors using my wiry connectory tool and then use the install kit and voila, it fits. Now, back in the day, these older ones, um, this came with the ability to pull it out, you know, from the dash. Well, it's kind of clunky, you know. Nowadays, they come with, well, back in 2005, detachable face plates. So this one has the detachable faceplate. Awesome. Now the newer ones, you push the button, the whole flat screen pops out, whatever, it was 35 bucks. So I'm going to get it all wired up, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I put it in the truck. Coolio.